Hey everyone, Matt here to show you everything you need to know about using your Narbox. In this tutorial, I'll be showcasing the integration between Narbox and mobile video editing app LumaFusion. Note, this integration is available on Narbox version 1.8.0 and greater, and only on iOS. Let's get started. The first thing you will want to do is connect your phone or tablet to the Narbox. Notice I'm using a tablet in this tutorial simply because it provides a bigger screen to edit on. Once connected, open the LumaFusion app. LumaFusion is available in the iOS store for a one-time purchase of $20. We consider LumaFusion the best mobile video editor in the game and we are excited to integrate with them. If you are serious about editing on the go, this is the app for you. Once opened, you'll see Narbox as a source. Click on that and you'll notice your collections. I favorited a few files on the Narbox app that I want to edit. I'll select my first file here for a quick view and trim. You'll notice a small progress icon indicating that it's importing into the LumaFusion app. This means that the file is loading for playback. We recommend allowing your videos to process on the Narbox before starting your timeline in LumaFusion for the smoothest experience. This may mean letting your Narbox operate for about a minute for every minute of footage you've just backed up, unless you're editing GoPro footage which normally processes instantly. Once trimmed, I can drag and drop clips onto the timeline below. Repeat this to build your edit. Once your timeline is built, you can double tap on any clip to fine tune. LumaFusion offers a ton of editing functionality like crop, clip speed, color, presets, and more. If you are interested to learn more about the functionality of LumaFusion, I've included a link to their tutorials below. I've applied my color corrections and I'm ready to export my edit. As always, if you have any questions, be sure to check out help.narbox.com or live chat with us at narbox.com. This concludes our tutorial covering the LumaFusion integration. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates and more tutorials.